They sure are warmed up. If I've learned anything while researching all of the stadiums covered so far here in the Archive of Everything, it's that stadiums change. A lot. With that in mind, today we're going to be taking a look at a few NFL stadiums over the years to see just how much they have changed. We're going to be using my favorite historical satellite viewer to do this. Although there are some watermarks, this website is still the best way I've found so far to get satellite imagery dating back to the 1950s and even further before that. Well, I guess that wouldn't be satellite imagery but more plain pictures, but you get the idea. Let's get started. The first stadium we're going to be taking a look at is the iconic Lambeau Field, covered in our most recent episode. If we take a look at this photo from the early 1950s, we can see that the site of Lambeau Field is just that, a large area of farm fields. By the 1960s, the stadium has been built, and many new houses and other commercial developments have been built nearby. If we jump again forward to 2015, the stadium has been expanded on a great amount, and the massive atrium on the right side looks like a growth or something. Our next jump takes us to Chicago in the classic, well, former classic Soldier Field. The stadium in its original form was the oldest in the NFL. The renovations of the early 2000s vastly altered the stadium, resulting in the bizarre mashup of the old structure and the alien ship coming out of the top as we see in these images. We next go to Houston and visit the eighth wonder of the world, the Astrodome. The stadium was built in the mid-1960s as the home of the Houston Astros baseball team and the Houston Oilers football team. The Oilers eventually moved to Tennessee and the Astros moved to Enron Field, leaving the Astrodome without a team. When Houston was awarded the Texans franchise, the new Reliant Stadium was built right next door to the Astrodome, leaving the former building to rot. Notice how the Astrodome theme park appears and then disappears at the bottom of the images as it was built and then was closed in 2005. We're now headed back to the Midwest to visit the RCA Dome in Indianapolis. In the first photo from the early 1980s, we can see that the dome is under construction. The RCA Dome was built before the Colts were even guaranteed to come to Indy. The ploy worked well and the team literally moved overnight from Baltimore. We next jump to the completed dome in the twilight years. It would soon be replaced by Lucas Oil Stadium. Finally, we do have Lucas Oil Stadium appear and the former RCA Dome site became part of the Indiana Convention Center. The last stop on our journey takes us to what I think may be the most interesting. Here in this still, we have the future site of Candlestick Park, the former home of the San Francisco 49ers. Candlestick's site in 1946 was actually completely underwater. Apparently at some point between the 40s and the 60s, they built up the land for development as we can see. The next shot shows the stadium as it was in the 1960s, about the time when the Beatles performed there. Finally, we jump to 2016, and the stadium has since been demolished. The site is still awaiting future development. This has been an extremely interesting journey using the historic satellite image viewer. It's amazing to see what used to be at these sites and how much they've changed over the years. If you enjoyed this video and want to see me do some other stadiums with this website, leave a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed, and thanks to all my new subscribers who have been tuning in. As always, this is Matt from the Archive of Everything, and I'll see you all real soon.